<clears throat> Let's go hunting. Let's go hunting. Fuck yeah. Give me a good card, give me a good card, give me a good card. Please give me a good card. Ah, damn thing. Good card, good card. Jackpot. All right, something should be good in this, right? Something. Nope. 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 Yeah, Damn. Jackpot's fucked me. The jackpot fucked me. God damn it, jackpot. Why you fuck me, bro? I think Jackpot should guarantee you like one, at least one good card. Just one. Don't stay Don't be a great card. Just needs to be a something with gold stats on it. Oh, Come out the hell. attack bro you need to realize what to do here all right now you got it don't stay up lucy pathetic we're card hunting That's what today's plan is. Today's plan right now is card hunting. Oh, come on. Streamer luck, baby. Give me streamer luck. Come on. How yeah doing? I did all right. about yourself
Don't move. I guess maybe I should start playing this. This is gonna take fucking forever for the AI to fucking do this shit. Okay, that's the double. Oh, that's the triple S actually. What do we get? Got a good card. All I want is a decent card, man. A, just a good fucking card. That's so hard to ask for. Just give me a few good cards. That's all I'm asking for. Just give me a few good cards. Don't Dog. What's up, sir? And nope, a good card. I need to start replacing those icons with Del May Cry icons. <clears throat> with the emojis. That's what I need to do. I'm at work right now. I went for the morning shift, then they called me back for evening after I just went home. Now I'm here at work after someone almost died, and I'm just vibing. Oh shit! Kinda shitty. Someone almost fucking dies. And, holy fuck, man. What a hot god damn. That's kinda sucky, I'm gonna be honest. They're lucky we have good staff because we saved him from an overdose in the bathroom. Well, he ain't got a job tomorrow morning now, does he? If he gonna be overdosing on the fucking clock. I don't think he's got a fucking job. Hey, glad it's good that he's alive, but uh, unless it's actually like prescribed, and he actually didn't just like look over the wrong shit. Cause the idea of overdosing eh, that don't sound right, bro. Damn, why would you fucking be doing drugs and fucking work? Like, aspirin's is one fucking thing, but if you're gonna be fuck, That's actually kind of decent. That's actually, that's actually a good card. Double. Most likely might have been prescribed so accidental it seems like. Well, hopefully that's what it is, not like... Not like the guy was depressed or anything, he was trying to commit suicide, number one, or... You know, the other thing, which is I'm going to get high in the bathroom. Like, dude, I've seen that shit. I've seen people get fucking like high in the goddamn fucking shit like that. And where I work at. Oh, we can't. They just get a fucking, you know, a tap on the wrist. Be like, oh, don't do it again. And they probably ain't going to do it again. And they do it again. That's why, oh yeah, today I uh, went to another job interview for another part, another job for a manager position, higher manager, well, technically higher manager position. 
fucking weirdest fucking interview I've had in a long time. Pretty much, they didn't ask me no technical questions or anything. Just to basically say, hey, look, we got a problem with our staff. Our staff is basically fucking around, and we need someone to keep them in line. Can you do it? That's basically what the interview was. And I'm like, what's the problem? Well, we, we these managers that we have here, this is a new position we put on top of these managers, these supervisors that uh, for some reason they can't maintain keeping a single person in that position for more than a year. So we need someone to come in and find out what it is and revamp this entire department. And I'm just like, Are you interested in like metrics or anything like no we're interested in just fucking maintaining these people That's actually kind of decent too That's a three card too Hmm, I'd be replacing them. The MP regen bonus is actually pretty good I don't know Weirdest fucking interview I had today We got here. Wrap. I'm gonna say that's actually kind of that's good, not great. That's actually decent. That's decent. Like if I had no other good cards, those those two good cards, those would be two good cards to put on. And last fucking pool. Make this one count. Anyway, judgment cut perfect. And what do we get for that? Fuck. Nothing good. Nothing good. Like one decent, well, actually one good card and a bunch of crap cards or decent cards. None actually worth of value. It kind of sucks. Like this go to Hall of Fame. We'll see someone's fucking name at the very top again. But hey, I don't give a fuck. You give me this shit. So I don't give a fuck. All right. Godlike Daddy Virgil. All right, let's try Small Black House. Small cameo. <laughs> hey, it's an Ahari. Uh, it's an Ahari fucking cameo, bro. I saw second and third place points get slightly higher after my first place score and it almost made me nervous until I remembered who I am. Hello, hello. You don't have to worry, bro. As long as you're spending money on this shit, you ain't got nothing to fucking worry about. The only thing you gotta worry about is when, like, you EX every character and there's nothing for you to fucking do. The game's just gonna start, like, the devs are just gonna start giving you all the fucking characters, like, straight up. Like, here, here you go. Just take it. Don't even bother putting money. Just fucking take it. And we already made EX for you. Ah, 
they should just put gems in my mailbox and I'll make summoning videos to promote the game more for them than I already do for free. Also, hello, <laughs> Nessa. Hello, Nessa. I could have done better. Should have never wasted the perfect of good in the beginning. Hey, but when I went up a rank. Let's try that again. Let's try it again with music. Nero and Virgil together will destroy Bloody even without X. Oh, I took damage there? I don't think I took damage there. Try to clear it out completely without having to do any swap characters or anything. It's Yes, sir. Ah, fucking up. That's what's going up. Stay with me. Ah, still at seven. I'm fine with that. I went up another level. I'm good with that. I know who I'm up against. I'm up against a bunch of people who have EX Virgil. So, you know what? At that point in time, I mean, kind of hard. Oh, yeah. I talked about which. I need to level up my characters. I'm fucking stupid. Could have gotten a little bit extra damage into that shit. Hello, bro. You are going to play One Punch Man World. Probably not. I don't feel like it. Oh, I hate this friggin' boss. Why are all the flying bosses annoying? Favorite DMC um, game? Uh, favorite DMC game? Uh, five. Now, if you're gonna tell me what's my favorite DMC game besides five, now I'll, I'll probably I have a different response for that. But I like everyone else. It's gonna be five. Five is like the godlike fucking DMC game. Like, there is nothing that can actually top that. All right. Five nine seventy five. Go back. Awaken. That's also going to increase by five nine nine seven, meaning Nero's damn good, and this should bring me almost close, if not over six thousand. 
Devil May Cry 2. Then that means Nero now does 6,027 damage. Perfect. We need to look at your cards. We need to actually look at these. Sort, filter, phantom card. You're trolling, set. bro. No way. It's DMC2. DMC2, bro. That's my childhood. I liked it. I don't see nothing wrong with DMC2, bro. Crit rate and attack, one point thing. What we got right now? We got the M. We got the one with overall damage and physical damage plus for one for four. But do I not have a better card? You don't like one punch. Nah, I'm not a one punch man fan. Never was a one punch man fan. I tried to. I'm not gonna lie. I tried to get into it. Crit damage, physical damage, crit rate. Uh, we have this one, which is comparable. Let's see. Uh, it's not a bad card, not a bad card. Okay, let's see. What do I have for three? Compare. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have anything in all honesty that's gonna fucking do what I want. That that that's that card's perfect. Uh, compare the, 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 the healing on kills, crit damage, and attack percent. Uh, I did overall damage, which uh, healing on kills, which I wasn't too worried about, to be completely fucking honest. The blood efficiency is what I was worried about. Do I have a better card than that? Let's see. Do, 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 Anything overall that I am looking for? Because I have not been checking these cards like I should be. Uh, we have crit damage by 5.6%. Uh, crit damage while damage reduction on the ground. Overall, I do not have an actual good card. I mean, this is a good card, but I get the MP regen bonus of 18% with the bleed efficiency. Okay. Uh, I, I seriously think. What's up, everyone? I'm not, like I said, I'm not really a One Punch Man fan or anything like that. I mean, honestly, the MP regen bonus is what I went for on this because I want to get the judgment cut faster. That's why it's even here. Like, this is a fucking great art. This gives me crit rate. This gives me MP regen bonus, but I could probably sacrifice that because the original card that it had was this one. Since the crit rate is at 5.6, Da 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 do, 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 do. I could probably but I get 18% to there. Uh, but that's 25, but 18. If they add a gunslinger Dante, I hope they make it DMC2 Dante with submachine guns LOL face with tears of joy. Oh I'm I want a shotgun, Dante. I want a fucking shotgun. I don't give a fuck about that other shit. That's still the best car for that. But that leads me to believe now that I could probably... I could probably do something else. We could go for more crit rate. Hmm, what do I want to do? 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 I just feel like I, <clears throat> I just feel like my cars are just all right for right now. I mean, overall damage is on this one, but I get physical damage of 23.9%, which is kind of hard to beat. I don't want defensive stat. That's another physical, but I don't want that one. The card I got's already better than that one. This one does more physical damage. Don't want that. Like, I don't want to get rid of. I 
I think we're, I think we're just fine. Until something else comes down the plate, until I get a better card set, like Virgil, I'm, I'm good with Virgil. I'm gonna have to accept it. Nero is a different story. This is good. Let's see if we got a better fucking two card. Nero does do physical damage. Worry about crit damage, to be honest. Not worry about bleed efficiency. Well, I'm looking at the wrong cards too. Crit rate. Which card do I got? All right. Technically, anything would be better than that. Are we worry about the fire damage? I don't think we worry about the fire damage. Not anymore. We're not worried about fire damage anymore. MP region bonus. Crit rate, crit damage. Might be good to try to do. No, he doesn't crit. I mean, if we could get him to a 50% crit, that would be great. It's probably a better card to pair. Even though it's only got two stats instead of such, I mean, we got 12.4% on head speed. I'm not worried about Can that. Can you explain me something? Uh, what you want me to explain? I think I might want to go with this because I want to try to get MP region as fast as possible. Get straight into alt. Yeah, let's do that. I know, I know. You're going to lower for right now. Fuck off. All right, this one was attack, crit, What overall. they mean with embed one set of legendary runes. Embed one legendary set of runes. That means go to your demon book and embed runes. Put four of them in. Like LMAO. Like you see, I got a zero on this one, right? All of it's zero. So you get runes, you come here, and you can embed runes. Like I got rune of disaster three, which I would embed. Method two, method two, for example. You get three books, you can change how the books are, but like I got a rune three that I would put in. Let me think something here. Uh, it takes two runes to make. Yeah, I'm worth it right now. And you just embed it. But I won't go back actually. Now you got me looking at something else because I'm way sick in here. Can I not? I need two of these. Make this. You can get two room. Oh, wait a minute. When can we do that? I already got one room. I already got one room. Hold the fuck on here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold the fuck on here. Hold the fuck on here. Oh, we'll be able to get it tonight. I'll be able to get one tonight. So if I can get that, I can pay the $14.99 to get the other two. I could combine two, two, and then combine those on the other ones to make them each a three. So then at that point in time on the book for Nero in particular.
we would be at level three. So then at that point in time, we would get a additional 36% on burning and a 240 on devil bringer. That means so I, I need second. to combine the legendary rune or I need to put three legendary runes in the three spot. Correct. You need to put three if for legendaries. You just need to put three legendary runes in here. You can put them at level one. You just right here. You see right here when you combine them. Like I got one rune in here, which is this one. Disaster rune three. This one's disaster rune two. This one's disaster rune two still makes it level two. When this one becomes a three, this one becomes a three. By combining the runes, then we level it up to level three, which Steen has 36% of burning a damage cures burning targets. We could sacrifice the fire damage in a sense. We could sacrifice and still come out on top. That's good to know. That's actually good to know. So, and I think I can get another pack. I think I can only get one more pack, actually. Yeah, I can only get one more pack. So, for $14.99, we can get two runes. Then we get the free rune tonight, which we can combine that. And then all three of them will be threes. That's not a bad deal. And that's not a bad that's not a bad option. I'll do that tonight. That way I can uh max out the ultimate damage. Now, if that's the fucking case, and I'm gonna go that fucking route, that means that yes, we definitely need to change these cards. These cards need to be more MP regen. I need more MP regen than anything. Do I have a better fucking three card? Preferably attack with MP region. Preferably this, but with MP region. What the fuck do I have right now? Crit rate. That's an attack percentage. <clears throat> that would be a better card. Automatically, that's a fucking better car for Nero. What I want to do. Fire damage, overall damage, crit, crit, defense. Attack right here with MP regen bonus. Overall damage. Overall damage. MP rebonus, crit rate. Session, not bad card. Fist of Salvation's got this one. I want that alt to fucking pop. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about any other ability on Nero. I want his alt to, to immensely fucking pop. I want that shit just to pop off. Here's why I select my cards first for anyone who's going to ask that question. But instead of just using the files, it's because of a hit quick select right here it automatically uses the files it doesn't use the shitty cards and i wanted to use all the shit cards first before i consider using the vials so before i use any of these elixirs these vials right here like i can get rid of these these are fucking shit i want i want to know that i've exceedingly used every single crap card in my fucking deck Oh, 
Which lucky for me, ain't too many. And then tonight we're gonna be also pulling for more cards. Gonna reduce my damage, right? Yeah, not by much. I got the MP gen regen. Eight, eight, eight. Do I have a better four card? Let's see what we got. Attack, fire, overall attack. Side back card. But do I have anything better in my saloon? This one. I already have it on. This salvation's not going to be doing much damage in that regard, so we can look at this mess. So let's hold on to that as soon as anything goes better. Attack percentage, attack percentage. Where'd your crit rate at right now? 10%. Ten percent. Oh yeah, I need to develop this one too, right? Yeah, let's develop this one. What was a card that's already technically level but not level that I could just say fuck it, get rid of it? Filter. I uh, know how boring this is to watch real quick, and I apologize. This card's not that great. It automatically gets this 21. Get rid of it. That card's not that great. That card will go better into this. Yeah, that card goes better into this card. Yeah, that's what I want to make sure of. All right. Pop some elixirs on it. Um, max it. This is going to be a better secondary card. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I want to. That was no card I just upgraded. Uh, Is that the card I just upgraded? No, that's not the card I just upgraded. It's a three card I upgraded. Yeah, it was this card I upgraded. This one, I was saying that there's looked like a thing. There's another one in here that was just better. Hi, Fox Soul. You live still. Yeah, I still live. Why is my stream fucking up? I wasn't paying attention. I like, guess something fucked up. Let me know. Okay, no, it was this card that I was saying I think would do better on Nero. I think I should swap them. But 
Let's see, where's my MP gen re bonus at right now? 8.4, 8.4, 8 8.4. 8 Actually, I think I'm fine with that, actually. Let's test it. Let's test real quick this build. Either I fucked everything up or it's going to work because I got rid of one fucking card. Let's see. That's not bad. Uh, regen. Oh, that's not bad on regen. That is not bad on regen. Holy shit. I can't complain about that. Yo, I can't complain about that regen. That's actually good. I cannot, for the light of me, complain about that fucking Devil Trigger region rate. That's actually good. That's one grab. Turn to alt. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, that's acceptable. That is acceptable. All right, I will leave it like that. I'll leave it right that with that. That 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 works out perfect for what I want to do. There's no skill to upgrade. Okay. That's not bad. And we're keeping him at level around level 21, which is fine. All right, your fucking turn. Actually, no, I don't want to do you just yet. I want to go do Fist Salvation. This is the key. This is the key component. You're just an in-between. You're an in-between between the key component, so... Let's not worry about Igniter right now. Igniter's not worth worrying about. Fist of Salvation's worth worrying about. Alright, Fist of Salvation... In all honesty, this is the weapon you should be using. 
It locks it in boss hunt. I can't use it in boss hunt for some fucking reason. I can use it in every other fucking mode, but I can't use it in boss hunt. I don't understand why. All right, your cards change. All right, let me go read your effects real quick because you're at S. Okay, activate brand when increasing damage of physical salvation by 45% when 50 stacks are brand. Increase the damage of physical salvation for by an additional 20%. And chain punching combos grant the, the grand lineup brand brand can stack up to 50 times. And while boxing form increase shield break efficiency by 50% while kicking form gains 70 MP after hitting a target with basic stylish. Blah blah blah. Okay, so well let's go read your other fucking part two. Rising Dragon or Fallen Hammer grants fists of salvation 100 MP. Then Rising Dragon applies to flammable or all target hit increased fire damage. He will take 30% for the next 18 seconds. When Brand is active, increased damage by 55%. Okay. Sinrise Dragon by 108% and activate Grant's thing. Okay, that's what I want to see. I don't have Sin on any of these. No. Sin does not come into play until SS. Yeah. But it's not. It's not to the EX version where Sin where Sin gives you 25 stacks of brand. EX would be really fucking good on Virgil. Oh no, for such. Okay. I need a hundred. I got 13 books. I need 105. So bitch. Okay, so we can just we can work with this. We can work with this. We need to get you some good cards. We got you a crit rate right now and such, which we're not worried about crit rate or crit damage, really. Um, uh, not worry about MP regen. Not worried about that. Not worried about that. Not worried about uh burn efficiency. I am kind of worried about. I kind of want that burn efficiency. Like I'm building this. See, MP regen bonus attack burn efficiency. This is actually a good card. It's not the stats. It's not the effects I want. Not the effect that I want, but it's the effect that I'm going to get given to me, isn't it? Compare. Your card. Okay. Card two. We have burn efficiency here. I'm really looking for this burn efficiency with attack. Uh, not HP. I gotta consider that card two is going to be a defensive card no matter what. So, but if I get the right stats. Now, what's to say that I have to use that either?
This might be where Nevin comes into play. No, it's not when Nevin would come into play. This may be where Bear Wolf comes into play. Oh, don't look like Bear Wolf's gonna come into play on this one. I want brand stacked. What say? What is it to say that I have to use Pluton? There's multiple ways of building this. And mm, I don't know. Damage reduction in the air, MP region, bonus attack, bonus. Fox cooking. But what's to say that I have to use these cards? I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. In all honesty, it's not really cooking. I don't have the cards that I want. I can increase the crit rate, but you don't. You don't have a base crit, do you? You have a fifty-six point four. We could go pure damage. But I kind of want that burn efficiency. Okay, so let's just try that. Let's just. They fuck it. Fuck it all. Let's go find. I'm not worried about MP region on this character. Crit rate attack. That's not what I'm looking for. I know there's cards in here. Let me see it. That's one. Do I not have a better card than this? MP regen attack burn gauge 100%. Okay, so I don't have an attack percentage in this. I don't have a gold attack percentage. I have a gold attack percentage right here. Let's leave the gold attack percentage on. Since this is a defensive card. We have a burn efficiency here. We have the MP region bonus here. I don't want MP region. I don't need it on this character. Not for what I'm going to do. I don't want to waste fucking leveling up a shit card. I mean, later on, I can always reuse it, but I don't want to waste it right now. All right, so we got two... We have the MP region, the fire damage plus on a defensive card, which is this one. Which one was the other one? I know I have another one. And we have overall damage. This is a shitty card. Well, not a shitty card. This is a decent not good this black card decent black card and the only good stat on this one is the MP regen but it's a defensive card 
Do we have burn efficiency? I need two burn efficiencies. That's all I fucking need. I have to have something with two... Two burn efficiencies. That's a burn efficiency, but it's got a defense. I don't want defense. All right, so first card. Crit rate, crit attack. Pull me this card. Current cards attack, crit rate, crit damage, such, such. So do I not have another one that can replace this? When you effect? finish, can you help me with my last coup attempt of the week, SOS? Give me one second, I'll get right to it. No problem doing that. We have one burn efficiency. I know the cards you already have is like a little bit leveled up higher. I don't give a fuck. That's fire damage. A better card. Oh, I got one burn efficiency. I mean, it can work though. One burn efficiency can work. It could work. It could. Do you know if the gauge efficiency stack? Yes, they do. They do. That's why I want two of them. They do stack. Like <clears throat> I tested that with Virgil already. If I give Virgil two bleak, uh, two bleed efficiencies, one judgment cut, per, uh, one perfect judgment cut, or even actually not even perfect, just a judgment cut, instantly puts the uh, puts them into uh, bleed status. One, uh, t if I only use one bleed efficiency, two it takes two. So they do stack. I'm gonna fucking attempt something here. Recommend me two good cards. Really? Really? Out of all the cards I got in my in my Okay, so what do you recommend if I remove this card? I want to know is this bullshit or is this fucking for real? Because it's supposed to pull Supposedly the best card for the character That you have I kind of don't agree with this already But that's already caught a hat. That's already caught a hat. So according to this, out of these two cards, these are the two best ones. Oh, wish. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like, I feel we could do the crit rate and the crit attack and stuff like this. I feel like we could do that. Hell, I feel like we could do MP regen bonus and attack percent. No, it, it wants to go with this. Why? Uh, 
like here I get a fire like or I don't understand I get the I get a 3.2 fire damage instead of a 2.8 I get the same attack instead of crit damage I'm going to get crit rate which I don't give a shit about but I get an additional fucking 1.6 percent on a base fucking card the only difference between this card really is the crit damage and the HP, but I got two fucking golds instead of a gold and a blue. Why the fuck would you be telling me that the first card is a better fucking card? Am I missing something here? Maybe hidden features improve those cards. What's getting to me though is like, look at it like, okay, we're basing the cards because I there's hidden features i know but we're basing the cards like i come here right i come to change i say you know what i want the game to automatically determine for me this is the reason why i don't trust this is the reason why i said in my video i do not fucking trust this shit because if i do a quick equip meaning that it's trying to pull the best fucking card that i don't have it established anywhere else on the character. It's pulling this and probe card. probe only one and make a probe. Let's see. That's one random stat at level five. Let's go. Okay. It has the attack percentage. Now that card technically is a good card. So is the game telling me that it could predict... Hold on here. Is the fucking game tell me it can predict what's going to be a good ATK. random stat? Can it, is it going? No, you you're fucking shitting me. Is the game legitimately telling me it knows what is going to have good stats on it? Because that's just a fucking base. Like you can't tell. But the Try game's one telling card to twenty five. Go with five on this. Yeah, it's one random stat. Go compare. I did, and I'm not sure at all, but it happens. You put it at five, you get your random stat. 25 you just max out whatever it's just going to randomize what it's going to be but i want to see some now prepare okay okay i see why this card's better not by much not by fucking much They're going based on the percentages because you get fucking four percentages on this card versus three percentages in one bit in one static. So it, the game will say that this is a better card than this. Like if I unequip this card. Quick equip. That's a yeah. Now, this is where the argument comes into play. I understand where it's now I understand what is why it's saying that this card, this one's a better card. Now I understand why. And it is. On paper. On paper, 
this card's great. This card, it will be better than this card. Because percent, 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 percent. This one's percent, crit percent, DMG percent. better than crit percent, I think. Great. I'm not worried about crit damage. That's the thing. Like, in, in my particular case scenario, I am not worried about any crit damage on this character or any crit rate. I'm not worried about that shit at all. I am worried about going in, doing fucking damage, and swapping over. That's it. So now I gotta fight here. Now I gotta fucking fight myself. Do I use their recommendation? And go with the fucking one that has a lower stat at level and every five. every five LVLS random increase. Yeah, so no. But this one's always going to be lower in terms of that percentage. Crit damage is going to be higher. But this one's got higher attack percentage and higher fire damage. I'm not worried about HP. I'm, on physical salvation, I'm not worried about my fucking HP worth a fuck. You can take the HP and you can go throw that off the fucking card for all I give a fuck. I don't want HP. But this card has crit damage by a 5.6%. But the way I'm looking at it, this one's got a higher attack percentage and a higher fire percentage. For what I am trying to achieve in PvE with Fist of Salvation, I want to go against a recommendation so fucking hard and go to the 3.2 fire damage and the 1.6 attack. But... Let me think here. That might be good on fucking either card would be fucking good on Ignite. He needs to crit rate. I'll leave it at the recommendation. I'm going to give the other card to Igniter. Oh, but Fox, it's supposed to be a Nevin card. Fuck Nevin card. What I got on this one? A 1.4. That's a 1.6 crit rate. She's already at a 10.6 crit rate. Is it because of this card? This card? Which card? Crit rate 2.8. Let's do her with the crit rate. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck off. We'll leave it the recommendation okay so the game that's actually that's actually nice the game could tell you in all honesty i want to test i want to test that theory hold the fuck on you're a lightning card guy you're bay wolf let's be on account virgil you're Nevin. You're Beowulf too. No, you're Minotaur. And you're Nevin, right? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I want to test something. I want to test a fucking theory. Remove these cards.
Move that one card. Flip, flip. Change. We increase up the hit him with a QTE and elemental damage. I see what you're trying to get at. I feel like I would rather do Minotaur set, to be honest. But let's go to this card. Here. I'll waste. I'll waste it. I was expecting something completely different. All right, who needs help with SOS? Actually, before I we do like this, to join. Before we do that, let me back up because I know what's going to end up happening. The audio is going to fuck up and I'd rather have music playing in the background and not just hear, you know, static. Sup, Fox? Oh, not much. We're, uh, we're going to be doing SOS and I was looking at some... Oh, shit. Hold on. I got something. All right, do we EX, do we EX, do we EX, do we EX? Probably not, but do we EX, do we EX? Which Sever I need help SOS on Sever NA? No EXs. How much Dante needs left? Dante needs a good bit left, okay. Dante needs a good bit left. Who was the next one? You just need, you need a good bit left. All right, cool. All right, cool. Damn, I was hoping to get like fucking five fucking shards for fucking Dante or some shit, you know? And just get rid of that shit. Just fucking get rid of it. Nah. Game says, fuck you. That's what the fuck game says. All right. All right. Room number is going to be 1323361. That is 1323361. I'll get my Virgil up. Wait for y'all to start requesting. And then we'll start pulling y'all in. Let me get my track going here. And let's see who we got coming in. I see that name in the stream. We're on in North America. NA. Ryzen. Wasn't there someone Thanks. else? Wasn't there someone else that needed help?
I want to apologize for no video yesterday. All right, let's get all three all in. Let's go. All righty. Let's get through this like a goddamn fucking Chinese man on his fucking noodles, bro. Why did I say it like that? I have no idea. Fight. Good fight. Hmm. I think that was actually a very decent fight. Not something that I uh disagree with. I think that was actually a really good fight. Alright. Now we got the fucking bird. Uh, hello. We got the fucking bird to gotta go deal with now. God damn it. Put on the remix tracks. Two, three, go in. Da 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 da. Around with this. Yo. Gonna ground for a minute. Jump. Jump. I missed my jump. Fine. Pretty good fight. Yep. That's a good knockdown. That bird should be good. Straight up the bird boo boo. Hit that bird right in the fucking ass because we don't want to deal with a fucking flying goddamn fucking mongrel. Oh. 
doors. Put up the meter. And dead bird. Everybody can go get some KFC, baby. That was some Kentucky Fried fucking chicken. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Okay. Alright. Now we play Booth back. Because this boss sucks dick. If you get the laser on it, please aim straight for the boss. Do not go run to the other eye. Just go from eye to boss. And everybody would be happy. Good, the boss got hit with it. No, on the boss, not on Dante. Dante is not the boss. I mean, Virgil, I completely understand if you feel that way. You just wasted your own. You wanted to at this point. All right, let's try it again. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you get hit by the laser, just. Thing all over again. I'll trust that you got it. I'm the boss, right? That's not the boss. Beam's got to hit that boss's belly. All right. Either way, you should die no matter I'm what. What you mean, Patrick? You're not late. Thanks. Oh, not a problem. 
Like I said before, I can carry SOS, but when it comes to DMD, I need at least people around the 20 level. Like you need to be 20 or higher in order for me to Foxel even. Foxel, can you carry back. me in DH? I don't think I can pass it. Thanks, bro. Foxel, can you pass me? Well, we both know that is a fucking lie. Now, if you want to, you know. Last SOS. Oh, no, I, I, I can do more SOSs. North carry team, LOL. No, I see North is like, I can't carry DH, motherfucker, my... I'm about to write in that fucking chat right here. I, I want to write in that chat right here. That Nov said, Fox, please carry me in DH. I remember someone said I carry the carry. My endless judgment hiding the 20. I got you a 4k for saying this shit. There you go. I got you a 4k saying this shit. Anyone else want to join uh, SOS? Room's open. We just caught Noth right there. We just caught Noth. The LL probably Fuck say this shit. too. They just say carry me in fucking DH. Not DMD. In DH. That is beautiful. Let them. I hope they believe it, because I caught you in the and in, 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 I caught you in HD. You know, I'll go say it like the kids used to say it. Caught you on HD, bro. You're being tested, fuck. Anyone else want to join? Whatever. If we need to, I, I'll make a new room later. I got nothing else better to do. Oh God, we got Dante. We got a Dante. We don't have a Dante. We have a Dante. Ay, ay, ay. A Dante. Arc. <sighs> I'll carry you in DH. You don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. You can just sit there, bro. I, I, I'll carry you in DH. I got you. I got you, buddy. I'll carry you in DH. Tell you what, how about you slip me? $500 under the table real quick, and I'll carry you in DMD. It's not possible to get the one-man show frags from the launch event F2 key right. I need the tutorial uh, carry. Nope, not an F2P. You have to at least buy one thing in order to get it. Great. Oh. Interrupt that. Get on top of the enemy. Just jump. Jump. That way I don't get knocked back. Down the ground. Go up. Perfect judgment. Perfect judgment. Perfect judgment. Perfect judgment. Perfect judgment. One jump. This. Great. Oh. Get the swords out. Right, 
Everyone's invincible. Staying pattern. Enemy step. That way it does explosion. We don't get hit. All right, my minions, I don't feel like walking. Get to it, give me to the bird. Now we need the training carry. Sir, like I said. I've done this raid so many times, I know the exact moment to attack and the invincible frames and all the attack patterns. Jump. Ah, oh, didn't make a jump. Jump. Go around. Start to ult. An 84, that should drop it down. Take the hit. For the time to go ahead and do that. Uh, I wasn't soon enough. I did too late. I did it way too late. That's my fault. I mean, it's still gonna go down. It's just. I fucked all that up. I thought I had the time. I thought I had the time. There we go. Now, what I mean, one judgment cut will fucking bring it down. So it doesn't fucking matter. If you do that, if you do a perfect judgment cut with the right second, you can bypass this entire phase I found. And I fucked it up. That's actually kind of upsetting for me. I'm really hoping they're gonna change these three bosses though it, 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 It's time it, it, It's time to change these three bosses Sale. 
What I would hope for is they would do like a randomizer. If that makes sense. Like three bosses from everything we got so far and randomize the three bosses. That way you don't know what the fuck you're going against. Okay. Hopefully that counts as a hit. It does. Don't move. Stay I was trying to do a dash. Oh, you didn't even get the green eye out. Okay, well, the box is healed. Do I want to try that again? This time I'll take this out. All right, there's no reason for three people on one of these. Really not. Let's see what everybody does. I'm gonna take out the middle one and I wanna see where everybody goes at. A laser. Floor I had an audio glitch, so I'm happy about that. But that should go a lot faster. Yeah, I got some good shit out of that. And I got shit. You know, I'm at that situation where I think my back is just hurting now. All right. 
Let's do another SOS. Come on. Phone. I gotta go get my fucking phone. Yo, what is up, man? Ah, uh, not much. Doing some SOS right now. See if anybody needs help with SOS. I go under the map like five times. Everybody does. So far tonight, we haven't done that. It's a good night so far. Hi, Fox. And I think I know why. Oh shit, she's got a follower. Hello, baby. I just totally missed who followed. The bot should tell me. No, um... I think I might know why the audio glitches out now, finally, and I think I might know why we fall through the floor. And it's gonna sound really fucking dumb, but I think it's because you attack the boss is way too fast. If, like, if you got, like, for, for example, you got three fucking Virgils or four Virgils on this team that's all doing fucking mass amount of damage, then at that point the in time... Then Thanks the, the for following. Godfather. I cannot join Vicos. I am from EU. Oh, damn, that sucks. Well, I'm going to put it like this. I think the reason why we fall through the floor a lot is because if you have one or two people in the team that does a lot of damage in a short amount of time, it actually can bug out the bosses, if that makes sense. That's why I'm kind of trying to hold back on a I certain... In certain cases, I'm trying to hold back a little bit because I don't want to fucking just judgment cut, judgment cut, perfect, and judgment cut end all the time because I find that if you do that, it causes the, it causes the hiccups more. Let's try with randoms. Thirteen, but should not be in here. Seventeen and a nineteen. I'll deal with it. But I think that's why. I think if you do way too much damage in a short amount of time, the game just freaks out. Can't prove that. But I'm almost, uh, but it seems like that. All right, let's see. Let's see if these randoms got this. Trigger arm. What happened? My phone alarm would stop. Play Devil May Cry Peak of Combat Controller PS4 Samsung Tab 7 Plus. Hola Foxel. 
I play it on a PC emulator with a PS5 uh, Pro Controller. Alright. And hello there, Crypto. Is this DMD? Nope, this is SOS. Thanks for subscribing the Godfather 112 hugging face. God damn stream elements, you're so fucking late to the fucking party, bro. No, we're, we're, I'm testing to see randoms and see how bad this can be. Carry me in SOS as well, PLS. <laughs> All right, I'll carry you in SOS. I just decided to go with randoms real quick. I wanted to see what the randoms can do. Good or bad coming. TW, how many copies do you need to X a character? Uh, count it, count it from S to EX and 50 dupes each, so at least six. But that's not counting like your epics and your uh, basic units, that's only counting your legendaries. Epic and basics give you 30. Like six or seven. Legend legendaries give you 50. Seven. Is really what we're doing. Royal Guard's fine. Royal Guard is good. Royal Guard's actually a really good character in this. If you like parries. All guards for you. Royal guard seems mid. I don't have him. He's good. All guards good. I mean, what you're sacrificing with royal guard in reality is your dodging capabilities for a parry, but you build up your rage meter with that. And your rage meter can do a fucking shit ton of damage. So far, with the randoms we're carrying, it's not that bad. But this is where it's gonna prove to me where it's bad. Because if we don't get no eye lasers on this motherfucker, we don't get at least one set, then they're just gonna make my job 10 times fucking harder. Royal and unique similar from Fist of Cell. Is this the rate of 87? Well, that laser was not on me. It was on the goddamn Dante.
we got two on that. Uh, don't pay for me. Three on that. Okay, don't pay for me to that one. To be fair, they were being juggled. Oh yeah. I wanna be a mod 3 looks cool. That was not even on me. That was not even on me. Why? That should have been on me. But that went point straight. Never mind, Royal Guard on her shield is wild. LMAO Insta Revive cuz Dante knows he needs you. I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to have to work on this one. They're better off working on the other one. Like, they keep coming to this one. Hmm. Lucid, is there an application for mod? this one instead with the blood pit all around it it's gonna hurt me now he just made me a mod one stream maybe cause I'm a member of the channel That fucking destroyer Vegeta that was a dick. I zoned out for a second. Is this DMD or SOS? Oh, Fox, make me mod cuz I yap about speaking head. Need some real player to clear the raid. I need, I need to do that. A lot. I think DMD. No, this is SOS. Not SOS. Okay. If I can keep this up. I don't have to rely on the lasers. Other shit.
Oh, these guys can't break the fucking shield? If you let Green Eye heal her, you save time cause it ends lasers early since they don't know how to do that. You're right, actually. I'm not even gonna bother with it. I'm just surprised that we got a Royal Guard, a Devil Bringer, and a Lady, and they can't destroy shields. You are doing three fourths the damage. What do you think, haha? -ha? Like, they should be able to break, like, this shield right here. Lady should be on this shield in particular, right? Not on this shield. This shield over here, let me fucking do a shield. That's for a case. I'm better now cause of the stress yesterday. Hold the spiral sword button to break the hit shields faster. That don't always work. Like, I'm not worried about me breaking the fucking shields. I'm waiting for, I'm worried about them because they can't fucking do shit on the shield. What difficulty is this? It's SOS. Dante must die mode. Three on the other eye is stupid LMFAO. Makes no sense what they're trying to do here. Luckily, I could just do that. We have, let me see this team. Devil bringer, Royal Guard. I wish and this game would at least educate the noobs on how to play this mode. I had the same problem. Finally, yeah, it may be an elitist thing, but if people don't even try to do the eyes I just leave, they don't need to crowd the DMD pool and make people hate joining random groups. Like, all three of them, their best place was to go to the other fucking one. The one I was at, that's the one they should have been attacking. I could take care of the other bar by myself with no issues, but everybody's going over there. No one's working on the 14 bar. They're all working on the long bar and they're not doing no fucking damage. Can you help me out on SOS? I can help out on SOS. I'm just, I just want to rant for a fucking minute. I just want to rant about this shit. Shit wants me cry loudly crying face. Like legitimately, like I, like I'm about to make another fucking video. I'm about to make another fucking video about this shit. And I'm about to fucking go ahead for just a random fucking idiots. To explain to them because even then they still don't fucking go point the lasers at the fucking boss to go ask them can you fucking read you have the eyes of abyss one's a red damage red shield the other one's a hit shield where the fuck they're on they're on the damage red shield why the fuck they're not on the hit shield 
The laser will continue to disrupt players. The players will break the shield, the eye of thing. The eye will then lock on to a player and fire a concentrated laser. If the player manages to guide the laser beam to of both eyes towards the hell filth, she will be in a weakened state. And while in a weakened state, will lose a damage reduction, will lose her damage reduction, and then will be a weakened state expires. It fucking tells you. I saw this rant two days ago. Guess we go again. Do I have to fucking make a video about this? I already made the other one. Fucking raid ball strategies. Do I actually have to do another video? Link this every fucking place I can fucking link it to and be like, let me read to you since you motherfuckers don't like to fucking read. Extra money, maybe, yeah. Fuck my goddamn life. I wish they would have kept the fucking team shit so I could have read the team shit. All right, we got another lineup. Let's go, SOS. Who wants in? Rooms fucking 13, 25, 62, 9. How about which I need to check? Send me INV Fox Daddy. Won't matter those who don't know how to do the eyes are and watching vids to learn. Apparently they fucking not. I really hate this fucking players that don't know what to do with the lasers. They look like an idiots. Crypto, you're manning. I believe. Yeah, I'm they just hope that someone will come and beat it for them. Lodge and Joker, I don't know who that is. We'll fuck it, put him in. If that's not someone on the stream, it's not someone on the stream, I can just redo this again. What is tomorrow's work? Oh yeah, I need a change. I need a change, Hunter. I got Is it possible request. to get endless judgment now or not yet? Ah, uh, it's King Saint. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? I, I don't know who Majin Joker is. Bye. Fuck you. I love you. But this guy asked first. Not till his banner returns. Oh, fuck me. I got a fucking... Goddamn call at fucking goddamn nine o'clock in the morning. Fuck me. I don't want to do the call at nine o'clock in the morning. Damn, I did get lucky and got Devil Bringer. Joker is good. He helped me with DMD today. I mean, he might be good, but right now, someone else is wants in right now. Like someone asked. Like the only people who goes ahead of the line, let me put it like this. The only people who goes ahead of anyone else is members. Members are the only ones that I will, they say, hey, I want to do DMD and I want you there in DMD. I want to make you suffer. Guess what? We do it. You know why? They're paying 99 cents a fucking month to be a member on the channel. I got to give it to them. Whatever they fuck they want. If they want me to get down on my knees and suck their dick, that's what the fuck I gotta do. I will be right back, cowboy hat face. Ninety nine cents is cheap. That's the lowest tier we got. The only tier that I got that's a large fucking tier was because I had one. I had one person that demanded it. He used it, and then he never came back afterwards. Which is like forty nine ninety nine a month, and he wanted to be called God of the Stream. 
Like, the motherfucker paid to be God of Stream. Basically meaning that anything he fucking... If, if the dude told me, stop playing DMC fucking Pika Combat, I want you to fucking play Miss Little Piggy's fucking goddamn fucking school shack, guess what? He actually did that one time too. We were playing fucking Guilty Gear and he paid for it and then he just comes in the stream. He's like, I want you to stop playing Guilty Gear. I was like, okay, sir, what you want? I want pajama Sam. Beast White Lotus just became a sponsor. Based. God damn sponsors. Thank you for being a sponsor. Me, I just like I just did a 99 cents one because like it's the cheapest thing YouTube will let me do. If I could do 50 cents, I would do 50 cents. We do tears. Like I said, I mean and I'm trying to do it on purpose to make like videos like a day or two ahead of schedule. If I had like enough members, like I would be putting like content out as soon as possible on for members and then release it to the public. Like right now I got a video right now. It's only for members only. It's only for members. And then it's going to be released tomorrow to the public. And it's about the fucking card system. What you should be looking at when you're looking for cards. Boy, goddamn nice, nice. And why? I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You make this shit so fucking easy to run. You and the Thark, man, like, both of you nice, like, I swear to God, You're welcome, bro. I love your content, Fox. I still need to watch that. I, I appreciate that so fucking much, bro. Like, like, you're making this shit so fucking easy. Where I could just sit back and not bitch. Like, I, I got a competent player. It's not like it was last time with the fucking randoms. It's like, it's like, it's so beautiful and to see like someone else doing damage. Arzuri, thanks for following. See, like, I can take care of it by myself. See, boom, look. I can't change my fucking camera angle for some fucking reason. You saw that, right? I couldn't unlock from the fucking goddamn orb, and I couldn't fucking change my camera angle. What the fuck? It was on me. Oh, that's bullshit. I'm fucking sorry. That's fucking bullshit and a half, bro. Do this again. Unlock, 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 unlock. Why would it unlock? Thanks oh. for subscribing, or the hugging face. Two judge cuts ends. Do we get it? This fish is all in one fucking go. Oh, he just fucking hits it like a fucking like virgin. He's like, fuck it. I'm not wasting my fucking judgment cut. Fuck that shit. I'm fucking nice, man. Doesn't he unlock for me sometimes too? Very annoying. LMAO had floor glitch. <laughs> you had the floor glitch. Let's do it, Knights. Let's go DMD. Let's fucking do it. Let's go to hell. I don't know Thark's at work. I, I, if he wouldn't be at work, I'd be like, yo, get your fucking ass in here. Let's do fucking DMD. Used ULT, then I was just falling. 
What floor glitch? Uh, there's a floor glitch where uh, you can actually fall straight through the Thank floor. Thank goodness for I did the eye thing first try. LOL. I, w I, I, I want, uh, you know what, I want to see. Can I be invited? You let me join DMD. I'll, you know what, fuck it. Ryzen, are you raw? You're raw, aren't you? I'm not wrong about that. You're raw, right? Logging in. Let me zone. in. Raisin. I am. Oh, you're raisin. Let me join. All right, we can do another one. We can do another one. Let me get let me get raw in real quick. You guys just hold up on the side, right? I want you guys to hold up on the side. We'll, we'll do another DMD. We'll do another DMD. I want to see some here. For sure. Because Ra, Knight, and myself. Need Virgil or can I run anyone? You can run anyone. I trust you. I just hope that you're like at least a level 20 on it. I want to go to hell. I want can to I join for the next one. I'm Obama 47. Sure, you can join for the next one. Okay, we got 20, 24, 23, 17. This may work. We got to try we got to try to do this without Lethoric. We have to try to do this. I love the motherfucker. But we got to try to do this without some fucking EX bullshit. My entire channel is trying not to fucking do anything EX related. What cards did you have on Swift Arsenal yesterday that gave the good heals? Uh, the Phantom cards I have for... Actually, my cards I got for Virgil. Crit. You can I've done it three times today with randoms. What are you playing on? I am later. All right, I got not. Okay, here's the deal. Do not let Ra or myself have to pick up any other characters. Can you add me on your friend S list? Cause if I knew you melt bosses, I could done it month ago. We need the we need the other ones to do it. I mean knights. Like anyone who's doing damage. Needs to be picked up by weaker characters. The other damage characters need to stay on the bosses at all fucking times. If we're gonna play this composition. Like Manny, like if you see someone go down, you're the guy who's got to pick him up. Not Rod, not or not nice or myself. You got to pick up. Basically, you want the other ones to keep doing damage. Rod's not doing that much damage, so Is that Manny is down. I'm not trying to be a dick about it. I'm just trying to be like, yo, we want fucking to get as much damage as possible on this shit. Oh shit, they're down. Oh man, he's down. This may be 
I was only one bar away from getting my ult. My game crashed. I am back in. Yeah, back in? God damn. God damn, I'm in slow mode right now. I'm glitch in slow mode. Fuck. Holy thank. Thank fuck. All right. First ball's down. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Let's go to hell. Second boss is the fucking worst out of this. I can deal with the first. I can deal with the third. This is what fucking proves whether we're going to be able to do this or not. Oh, there goes audio glitch. I got so much sound effects that the fuck game just said, fuck you, no audio. This, this is the reason why I put my own fucking music in the background because I know this shit's gonna happen, but I can make sound effects for it. We're wasting time. But it's better to resurrect them. We're still do we're still okay. Right, let's go to the deal. I think Nice got this. All right, I got him. Ooh. 
Where you got that bitch? All right, third boss should be easy. Audio comes back on for five seconds. We go. God damn. Someone used the world. The world though. God damn, I love Jojo Bazaar. Actually, Jojo Bizarro and I love actually season fucking two and Star Ocean. Star Crusaders is my favorite. Damn game audio glitch. Don't you just love it? How you been, Fox? But all right. I mean, we're doing good damage right now, so. Without no Thoric, we're actually fucking doing this shit. Oh, no, it took out the green orb. That's why. Okay. All right, I made that priority.
DMD done. Holy shit, we actually fucking did it. Holy shit. No, Nathar. I thought my Nero could do more damage. My bad, I thought Dante had the green eye. I think I'm going to build Lady for the heals. Yeah, all I did for Lady just to say, like, what the, for, the, for those heals that I was doing, because uh, I think you were asking about it, is I just took this card set. That? Uh huh? Oh, you're making an Iron I couldn't see do DMG for the heal. I sorry. Let's see. Wait a second here. My son's supposed to do some. I see what you're trying to do, and that's really cool. Ask mama for tape. You say tape? Tell mama I need tape. Tell mama to tape it. Right, this is the car set I was using. My fault, though. That's fine. Like, this is what I was doing. Straight up crit rate, crit rate, crit damage, You're physical all damage. All this. Because... At least you knew to go for it. One thing here. Okay, that's the card. I was using my Virgil cards because my lady, I'm not sure about yours. At least okay? I hit all the red eyes, LOL, so I happy. I may I'm not, not have gotten Devil Bringer Nero, but I got C2 Nahida on 50 50. At good. least you knew to go for it. We're gonna put it like this. The reason why, the, like, my lady was doing so much other good heals, I'm not sure if you're there yet either, is the SSS, is SSS uh, rank. Is they increase the effect of healing, uh, increases the healing effect of the green orbs by 100%. That right there was outrageously helping out. Because then, at that point in time, I think it is it A or B? Because you got to read it carefully. Hey, don't yeah, true, say I it. think the healing comes below 66%. They don't say it, right? But I think it's an A or S. Where was it? Uh, it's lower than that. Yeah, right here. It, don't, it doesn't say this. It does not say this at all. However, I know what this means. Hitting a target with charged shot will cause a green orb to appear behind a target. Allies can absorb this orb and restore a amount, an amount of HP that equals to 100% of Swift Arsenal's attack. This should say allies can absorb this orb and restore a small amount of HP that equals to 100% of Swift Arsenal's attack, not an amount. It don't tell you what the fucking amount is. So this makes it sound like, oh, I get 100% as long as, like, you know, if my arsenal has 3,730. No, it's smaller than this. It should be like a percentage, like 10%, 5%, whatever. It don't have it. So this right here, there is a no misreading. Percentage. There's a misreading here. There's a mis typo, misreading something. There's something here. But when you go to triple S, increase the healing effect of green orbs by 100%. Because the more I read this, this makes no sense. A green orb will appear behind target. Allies Average can absorb this orb moment. and restore an amount of HP that equals to 100%. What the fuck does that mean? Like, do you understand what I get at? What looks like all allies can absorb an orb and restore an amount of HP that equals to 100%. What the fuck does that mean? What's an amount? 100%? 5% of 100? Like... It don't... It don't read right, man. This is the one thing that I read that don't read right. Maybe I'm fucking, you know... Illiterate. Maybe I'm fucking retarded. But I... When I read this shit... I don't read... It correctly. Like, it, it's just fucked up in my head. 
Maybe All 100 right. of the damage of the skill. Maybe. It just doesn't read correctly. That is something that I would recommend the devs rewrite that to make it more understandable. I just can't understand what the fuck it's saying. It's kind of annoying. Okay, I know these two were asking. Ryzen 1 and in, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's give these guys a chance. You guys take a break. Lucid, take a break, bro. Just relax. Let's give these guys a shot. Worst case is that we don't get it. We will kick off one or two of them. Run it with one. Run it again. Run it with one. This. Run it again. We should be Can able to I get, get next Nero. I, I, I is me. We can go for it. I know that these three asked first, so. Oh boy. I'm kind of getting tired of Delmacry music. LOL. I'm kind of getting tired of Delmacry music. Fuck it, put some Guilty Gear music on. Oh, I didn't reset. Oh well. We just have to deal with no audio. Perfect judgment cut. Perfect judgment cut. Yeah. Alt. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm trying to make out sound effects and I'm kind of sounding racist with this and I'm kind of sorry about that. Oh, you got him. Okay. When you see him go up in the air and you know it's going to be that you should know, just don't dash at him. Just stay on the ground. Like right here. Don't try to go for the extra damage. Just take the hit. Now go for it. I assume like if he is above 70 and he goes straight in the sky, you know, it's, you know, it's the one hit kill. Let it be. Just let it be. All right, we're good. Just do enemy steps. I pull this off. Can I actually pull this off?
Nope. BRB. Oh boy, this is gonna this is gonna be difficult. If this is telling me anything, the birds go probably ten times worse, and the inning will also be ten times worse. Boy, I didn't think shit off. Only one bar. Damn. They got us. Hey, we tried. We tried. Let me reset. Oh, update on my power world for anyone who gets too fucked. Uh, we built another base in the Arctic. And we're going to call it the sex dungeon. It's only meant for fucking bringing fucking pals there to fuck. We're setting up a booth and everything to go ahead and be able to watch a fuck. Sex dungeon goes hard speaking head. Oh, it does, bro. It does. Like, that's what we fucking did. Like, like I want to make it to where I can see the fucking goddamn fucking, uh, the fucking pals, the Pokemon, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Just go fucking ham. But I need those fucking eggs, bro. Wait, how, how many pieces I got? 32? I can run. Let me run one card set real quick. Ew. Run one card set real quick. Ah, you almost had me. I thought it was going to be an amazing. Let me run this card set real quick. I need to ask the, um, the people for Mega Man X Dive if by any chance the Virgil and Dante Is there and Mega Man's gonna come back. Virgil powers to help me do DMD again, LOL. Don't stay. Uh, Lucid probably. Don't stay. The Thorax at work right now, so. It came back like two months ago. I got both of them. Okay, so I should be able to get those then. All right, cool. Noth has a job. How else you think he's going to spend fucking money? You think he was fucking rich? You think he was Bruce fucking Wayne? You think his parents got Hello. killed in an alley? And then all of a sudden that motherfucker became goddamn a millionaire because he took the fucking inheritance? Let me try to get a uh, real quick uh, loose. He has Batman of POC. I envy me PLS.
You need damage or heals. I late NVM. Either one. That's Lucid. Let's we'll see what he wants. You want heals or you want damage, bro? WSG, y'all. I heal since inside is here. All right, Obama wants to change the cards. We'll do this. Thinking about it, I could probably fucking carry DMD. It would cost me a little bit of a penny. Not as much as a hundred bucks, but it would cost me like 50 bucks to do it. If not, we can triple Virgil, LOL. It doesn't really matter. Nah, it doesn't matter at this point. The bomber said he'll be right as back. As long so. as eyes get done. You are gonna lose your sanity if you keep going. Like I'll try to help people get their uh, DMD stuff done. We're good now. Is Endless Judgment Virgil still the best character? Yes, yes. he is. Yes, 100%. Yeah. 100%. He is going to be the best, even with V and Count Thunder probably coming in. Like, uh, like they would have to make... They would have to make... Nero a close a second. Whole, a whole new character of either Dante Virgil or something that does what Virgil basically does. To make it better. You need to be able to make a character that can The reason why Endless Judgment is so good is because Endless Judgment don't need nobody. He don't need a team to be good. With Nero, you need a team for him to be powerful. With Nero, you need to be able to, yes, you need brand stack, which Fist Salvation shits out for days. You need... All right, we fucking inter we got it interrupted. Holy shit. Real. Like right now, there is no other character that can touch. The only other character that probably could touch Virgil and damage, but yet still wouldn't be as good is Dante. It wouldn't be as good still. You would have to really work on your Dante in that sense. Dante needs to write fucking cards. You need to get lucky, but I mean, it is possible. It will probably be Sin Devil Dante or Nero. You know what they're gonna do? No, I don't think it's gonna be a Dante or Virgil. I think it's gonna be fucking Sparta. I think they're just gonna put da legendary Dark fucking Sparta in this shit. They're gonna put the legendary Sparta himself in this motherfucking game. And he is going to be. You're gonna see, like, oh shit, daddy fucking better. Now hopefully they give him a ball gag in his mouth, like they did in DMC fucking Del McRae. That way I can bust out laughing. If I was the devs, that's what I would do. I would put fucking Sparta in this shit and make him OP as fuck. Make him like fucking the dark element in the game. I'd be like, yo, this motherfucker fucking 
is Dante and Virgil combined good? Makes sense. I'm losing my fucking mind on this fucking grave, Ross. I wish there was a spectate feature where I could watch people play this. In all honesty. Because I would take a break and I would just leave it running in the background. And just watch. Gotcha, guys. Look, you're getting your rewards now. Yeah, Thank I want to nice. see Sparta or Nero Angelo. I wouldn't want Neil Angelo, to be honest. I would want Corrupt Virgil, but not Neil Angelo. Nero is fun to use. That's the thing about Nero. Nero is the, what makes Nero... Okay, let me be honest. Virgil is the best character. But in terms of fucking fun gameplay, Nero's fun. It's more fun. Like if you want to go based on like, hey, which character is the most fun to play, Nero? We did 409,000 damage in that fucking sh fucking bar did not fucking move. Is doing his fucking teleport shit. I don't like this. You see this shit? It's rubber banding like a motherfucker. the seven like last time we should be good these orbs are coming in fucking handy i'll tell you that right now i get it down oh my all didn't do it fucking much You nice man, get it down here, bro. There you go, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah. Fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken from Popeyes, motherfucker. Beat the shit out of that fucking bird. I want that meat beaten. Get that meat. We need to put all 11 fucking herbs and spices into this bitch. Yeah, all of it fucking herbs and spices is what's fucking shoved in that bird's fucking ass. You okay, lady?
Okay. Do you have postpartum depression now because the bird you killed the bird and there's nothing else for you to do? Thanks for following. Ash Williams? Ah. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice. I thought the other ones had it. <laughs> Try to stay alive, buddy. It's under 30 fucking bars. You should be able to do this. Just let the green R fucking heal it and just keep going after this.
think he's got this, honestly. I fucking... I fucking knew he had it. I fucking knew it. Everyone. My heels did not PROC as much as you. Guess I have to level my cards some more. Next. Who the fuck is calling me at 10.30 at fucking night? Somebody does not respect my fucking time, apparently. <sighs> yeah, you can also do it that way if it's just you gonna eat some dinner. Give me at least five, bro. Like, give me at least five. Oh, I, I need a break from that shit. Like, you guys don't realize, I don't think a lot of people realize, but that shit just... It eats at you for a minute. Like, in all honesty, the DMD rate of this shit is just... Thanks for subscribing, Ash Hugging Face. Ash fucking Williams is what the fuck your name's gonna be now. I don't give a fuck, Ash. Ash, you're now Ash Williams. Can we do fuck? SOS? I can do SOS. That's not a problem. DMD just takes a lot out of me. I can help carry SOS now. Let me restart the emulator. I'm gonna check some real quick. Who the fuck keeps calling me with a private fucking number? Like, I don't fucking answer that shit. If you're gonna be that kind of fucking person who's gonna fucking call me with a private number, you're a fucking asshole. You can go fuck yourself. Give me a second here. I can help with DMD again in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes sounds great. Check us out real quick. One quick second. I'm 
just double checking this. No idea. All I know is that, like I'm gonna say, if you're a dumbass motherfucker that's gonna call me with a private fucking number, not leave a voicemail, and you're trying to hide your fucking intentions? And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not fucking talking to your ass. Alright, dude. Let's do, let's do SOS real quick. And by the time we finish with SOS, Lissa should be ready. Then we could do one DMD and then I go to bed. Sound good? Sound good to me. Room now there is 132.84.30. In fact, you know what? If I'm going to stay up a little bit, let me contact the wife real quick. Uh, let me contact the wife. Let me see something. This is the SOS now. Uh, DMD. Uh, let me see something. I need to talk to the guy for uh, Mega Man X Dive. I want to see if there's like. There's a couple of zeros that I really want to get my hands on. I want to see this possibility of like doing anything to get those. Right. I'm going to accept the fact that there is no Do I want it? No, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. No, I'm not doing that. We're doing this. Well, let me look at y'all numbers. 2016. Hi, I like your streams, Fox. I don't know why you let me stream. Logan. Do you want food? 20. Huh? No, go, go. What you want to eat? What, pizza? Oh, never mind. I don't know why anyone would like watching my streams. My streams are fucking pretty boring. I talk a lot of random shit. I talk a lot of random shit. I, I'm fucking, I'm a pretty boring person. I just have a fucking passion for fucking Del McRae. You know what? I almost feel like playing Del McRae 2 again. Hey, y'all don't need my help. Y'all don't need my help. You got this. I got this. Yeah, I'll do this for y'all. I was small. Okay. I got this.
Oh, these guys got this shit, man. These guys got it. They don't leave me. They got it. They fucking got this shit. They lied. They're like, oh, we need help with that. So you don't need no goddamn help. You got this shit. Bullshit me, motherfuckers. Ah, Virgil, stop. Don't worry, Virgil, you got this, buddy. Go in there. You got that $30 skin. Let's go. So I can play this one handed. I just realized that I can totally play this one handed. Mom's got this shit. Look at this shit. Mom's got this shit. You know what, Obama? I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. You should, you, your name should have been Majin Obama. You're still evil, man. You're not even getting that bird a chance. Gents coming in so fucking handy. I'm glad. I, I, you know what? Losing the blood efficiency gauge on that card to go for MP Regent actually was a good decision. I am doing more fucking judgment cut ends than anything I might want to change out another card to increase the LP region the more I think about it I'm gonna be on that one. I'm gonna go on this one. Don't. 
I'm gonna start on this one and I'm gonna go switch over. Adios, big mouth. That's the fucking lamest script writing I've ever read in my life. I'm still getting total. Re I'm still getting assisting rewards. Really? I would have figured I would have stopped by now. Kind of confused by that. Fuck the gamepad disconnected. Alrighty. Well, let's go take a look at the exchange then. How much have we got in here? 660. That gives me a vault breaker. That gives me nothing. Ah, fuck it. All right. I thought you were playing Devil May Cry 5. What do you mean I was playing? You thought I was playing Devil May Cry 5? I would wish I was playing Devil May Cry 5 in a cent. We're playing this fantastic, amazing game. I mean, it's actually really good. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I actually like this. Are you exited for Devil May Cry 6? Uh, if they ever make one. Let's be honest, we haven't heard anything about that. But hey, they did. What I would hope is that they would add actual multiplayer in it. That would be fucking fantastic. I don't want to just this shit. Let me see some. Let me actually go see some real quick. Before I go do DMD and everything. What is it on our rooms? I got a bunch of the flaws. All right, so let me calculate this real quick in my head. With Nero, I got one. I get two more. Two. Two of these, two plus two those. So if I would have another one of those, which I do, that makes it three. So, in total, to make this is one, two, three, four. That's four. 
three. And I got one. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough to make three. I would need to get I would need to do it tomorrow. Oh, do I shit I can get rid of? Fuck yeah, I get rid of this shit. I gotta think how I wanna do that. Oh damn, we're down to the crimson shards, bro. Fuck. We need to wait. I need to get this. Once I get this, I make three. So one goes on one. I can make another two. Two goes there. So one, two, three. I already got a four. So yeah, okay. We can do that tomorrow. That should be more than accomplishable tomorrow. Chris, I got so many fucking people trying to be friends. But yet, I already got four spots left. Fuck. I'm waiting to see if anyone still needs a DMD help, otherwise I'm going to bed. Chat's been quiet tonight compared to normal. Normally, I get like fucking I tons do. of. I get tons of fucking questions and shit. Tonight's been shut up. Ness, uh, yeah, you're Nero, right? Let's see if Lucid's back. Lucid, you back, or are you still eating? Yeah. Those name ain't back yet. I want to do it with Lucid on purpose. Cause... Can you add me King Saint? Can I rant about the Nero event? Well, raw, raw, raw. Go ahead, rant about the Nero event. I think we might be able to do this with raw. I think we might better do this with Raw. Oh, fuck. This might be doable. This might be doable. Okay, you got my attention now. No, go ahead, rant about the Nero event. Their event's kind of shitty. I, I, I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna hold that against you. I dislike the Nero event to a certain degree. I feel like it's false advertisement. This should work nicely. You need I to get Nero to SSS for 35 shards, which would be pointless cause you still need to pull two copies for X. It's like, why even give the shard? Yeah. Oh, I agree. I was complaining about that shit myself, but you don't have, like, to me, a large amount of shards means, like, I should be able to with the event. Like, this should be for the free-to-play players, right? That event should allow you to get enough shards, in a sense, and you should not have to have Nero to do it, right? 
to be able to make a Nero. That the only reason why you should summon is for Doom. I'm sorry. Because people are going to do it. People will spend the money. At least give one copy. Events like that should have the ability for you to pull. It should be a guaranteed character. Or at least like a guaranteed hell weapon. Okay, you don't want to do you don't want to do the give me a Nero, give me the hell weapon for my Nero when I summon. Him. Otherwise, it's giving you only thirty some shards, which ain't fucking worth it. Because in all honesty, when you're going to go ahead and you're going to go dupe the character, you're going to go summon again, right? You're going to get 50, 50, 50. Let's just say you ex the character, right? In all honesty, you're going to still be you're going to be stuck with 35 shards doing absolutely nothing. Look at my nomadic Virgil. I got 45 some shards. He's already EX. I can't do none of those shards. I'm guessing that the devs did not actually think people were going to spend money on the game. Like, legitimately, that's what I almost feel like. I feel like they actually were expecting the game to die. As bad as that sounds. Yup, it's just crazy. Like, they never thought, like, oh, what are we gonna do if someone, like, summons the same character and they already EX'd it? What are they gonna do with these shards? No one's thought of that. I think it should be turned like into universal shards. Like if I some shit way shape form. Like even towards a legendary. Like if you already got a legend character, make it to where you know universal shards. You need a hundred of them to uh, go to the next rank level. Something. downstairs you want to sleep downstairs I, I don't get it what's wrong what's downstairs go get it I don't know my guests just cried about something about downstairs I don't know what the fuck it is but okay Go sit down with your tablet for a little while. Alright. 
That will be done after this, I promise. And we can watch a movie and go to bed. All right. We do this. We do this shit so fucking goddamn much, man. No, I'd say the Nero event, though, honestly. They, they should have done something more with that. I can't wait to see what they do with the V event. I don't know, I think we would be lucky to get red orbs for extra shards just comparing it to other gotchas. They need to do something, let's just be honest. Live, laugh, love, and hate wallet may cry. <laughs> Live, love, laugh, wallet may cry. I mean, is this wallet may cry, bro? I leave for almost a half an HR and bro is still suffering. What's wrong, Logan? Honestly, I think I'm only gonna pull for one copy of Count Thunder, then I'm on max out V. I don't even care if he has bad. Well, it's like I said, like, I'm not sure if anyone's going to watch my fucking video about why you shouldn't EX a character. But, in all honesty, I, I honestly feel like for the majority of people, you shouldn't be upset in any which way, shape, form if you don't EX a character. And honestly, I don't think you should, like... You're gonna get to the point where this game's gonna get boring if you overpower your fucking characters, in all honesty. Like, what's the point of playing this game if you... And I thought about this. And I actually had a good friend of mine that explained it to me, too. What's the fun about being an EX character and just doing all this shit, you know... Being too strong, it's not fun. I actually kind of having more fun struggling with good friends playing this right now and slowly working the grind with the cards and everything to see what we can do. Tell that to not hard it. Right now, right now, is he still, I'm gonna put it like this. Right now, I feel like he's still kind of like in the honeymoon phase of the game. But like, what happens when the banner comes back around for uh, for Virgil and there's nothing else to do with Virgil? Like, oh, you already EX'd him, he's already maxed. There's nothing else for you to do. What's there to be? A, what hype is there left for someone like the heart? The heart. You know what I'm saying? I would hope not. I would hope he finds something that he likes right. out of it. Yeah, I can see that. For me, it's like I only X characters I really like. Then I'm just gonna grind to get those other characters stronger. I agree. I'm having fun with S Nero and S F O S team. 
That's why, like, someone was to asking me, like, hey, you should EX your characters like Nath Nath Hark and everything. You should be doing like him, man. And it's like, originally, I was planning to do that with Nero. I was planning to go ahead and EX Nero. Then the more I played, and the more I watched, like, other people like him that's EX, with their wallets are crying. My god, my game is bugging out. I was thinking about this. I was like, well, wait a second here. It don't look that fun no more. Like, it might be fun for them in regards, like PvP and everything else, but it don't look fun no more. Because then you got a, dis a disassociation now from the people you play with. Like, yeah, you're going to have people out there that's going to want, you know, you don't want to see the EX shit, but I'm having more fun with the card builds and everything else. Like, in all honesty, Nathoric doesn't have to even do any fucking cards on the character. He is, his character is so fucking good, he don't even have to do fucking cards. We saw that with uh, his Devil Bringer. His Devil Bringer legitimately, like no cards, went straight to DMD with it after EXing it. Fucking shit tons of damage. I wasn't wasting the judgment cut. So then, like, if the banner comes back around for Endless Virgil, I will be hyped, you know, in six months from now to try to EX Virgil. We're only two pulls away from really EXing him. the best hell weapons for all characters like Final Fantasy Ultimate Weapons. It's more like a present base. Like, hey, you know, six months from now, I have a chance to EX version then. You know, that sounds fucking great to me. I don't have to fucking waste all my fucking money right this minute to fucking do it. And I got something to look forward to when the banner re pops again. my fave cause he s left handed but the dmc5 dropped v and i was like i can play as a pimp with a limp do i want to actually fucking got against it you know i actually had an argument with someone on the street it's like you know v v is a ranged character i'm like he's not a fucking ranged character he's a goddamn fucking slave driver so in the case of you saying he's a pimp it's the same fucking principle he's a fucking pimp fucking power word ex he's a power world expert he knows slavery he uses his goddamn fucking demons to do his fucking bid man he's he, he, he ain't no god oh fuck oh, that was a waste of judgment cut exactly looking at them summons like go get me my red orbs Pimp exactly king. fucking v doesn't have to do shit
Does it just mean did the orbs go into the ground? Did the orbs just bug halfway into the ground? That's fucking hilarious. Oh, y'all didn't get this? I wonder who the third ice character will be. We need three. No idea. We need three of those and we need, uh, we need to see what the light characters and the dark characters are going to be in this shit because you, they have them. Blake Morris. Uh, I'll make a joke. It's going to be Dante. It's not that I don't want to help. It's just that we can finish this off real quick. See, if I would have wasted the time to go help him, we wouldn't have gotten it. I'm still getting fucking assist rewards. Did they fix that to where, you know, it's unlimited now? Because that should have been over by now. Like, I should have gotten to all of that shit. Oh, we got to... How much longer? How much fucking longer until he comes back? Two minutes. All right, give me two more minutes, buddy. Now you go pull one more card. Then you go call it a night. There you go, Nessa. We got you. My S Virgil I S N T to bed. Hmm. And I'll tell you like this. Look. You see this uh, Phantom book? This is my in-game Blake Morris. This is my in-game Blake Morris. He is third ice character. Mm, he is second ice character. He's not third. Am I missing an ice character? I don't think so. One. No. That's it. There's no other ice character. So V would be the second ice character. Like, Count Thunder's going to be the third electric. I managed to get one set of Virgil S runes. Okay, you got one set. Good. Uh, get That right there is going to boost the damage on S+. Plus. Now, when the banner ever comes back around Nessa, I would tell you straight up when you're going to start having fun with Virgil, like real fun, is getting them to SS. So if you're S plus, once you get him to SS and you get that 40% crit rate on the uh, perfect customer jet, on the perfect uh, judgment cuts, that 40% crit rate, mwah. Fucking beautiful. I'm waiting for these two motherfuckers to become play uh to become the Will next summons. Will you be summons. able to use Lady in Ice Electric Realm? Pull, pull, pull when his banner is back, trying not to buy the 99 deal. I don't think you will. Why there are three book methods where you put the crystals in? 
Because you can do three different builds. Like, look at it. That's what it's for. Like, method one, if I just want to use the violent resonance, which is just increase the damage, that's method one. I run method two because I put in a method two. I could have just not done anything. And I just put these runes here because you got different runes for different things. So they give you three basic methods. So you can say, oh, I want this rune here. I want this rune here. And then I guess they're going to put like a third set of runes later on. You can put the third set of runes there. Right now, we only got two sets of runes. Or you can do like a rune set combination here. So like this one's for all units. It just increases the damage of bleeding targets, but this one right here has the increased endless, uh, endless cut and judge uh, by 24%. Question LVL4 standard runes or LVL1 Virgil runes, which is better? Well, let's see. I mean, technically speaking, it, de it, it, it really all depends, but go read it. Level four damage ones gives you a 20% increase. Le uh, in all honesty, level one, level. Level four gives you a 20% increase in just bleed damage, which is fine. It's technically better. But if you're if using he, Virgil as main, then his runes are always better. But if you like he said, if you use in Virgil as your main and you let's just say you say fuck the violet runes, go to the flaw runes. You go to 24%, 24% for judgment cut. Like right here, you get 12 and 12. So you get an increased damage of 12% on judgment cut. So at that point in time. Not only do you get the 12% on bleeding of the targets, you also get 12% here. So technically, number wise, yeah, this is this if is not using great. Virgil main, the other runes are better for full physical team. I kind of disagree with that. I kind of disagree with that, Lucy. And the reason why is because you get the same perks. Like, look at the violence, right? The max, 5, 32%. I'm going to make me some buffalo wings but, with ranch, a piece of toast, and a nice cold drink. But if I get level five in Virgil runes, this right here doesn't just affect, this also right here affects, the first line affects the entire team. The second line is for Virgil only. So technically speaking, these runes are useless. Because you can use the Virgil runes on your entire team. So they're not better. Like... Or the full physical team, Virgil runes would still be better. Because what are you really sacrificing? You, level one, level two. At level two, you get 13% increased to bleed damage. At level two, on Virgil's one, I get 24. So my Dante, my lady, my whatever physical fucking character gets a 24% instead of, you know, 13 gets 12% instead of 8. So, that first line affects every single one oh, of your yes, team. yes, if both at same level, then Virgil's always win. I meant in general, if you can get Virgil runes leveled up. Well, I'm just saying, even from level 1, like 8%, 12%. That's why I said, like, if it don't pay to go for those runes. In fact, I don't even think it pays to go for any of the basic runes at all. Let's see. Minotaur. Runes. A level one, the stand rune is 8%. 12% for bringers runes. Nevin. More free level to play one. friendly. 8% 8, 8 for this one. 12% for this one. You can get these runes. You can get these runes free to play. It takes longer. 8%, 12%. Free to play wise, basic basic runes are much easier to get. 
but free to play wise you can go do what i'm going to be doing you get gems and off the gems you can get you can get 900 instead of doing a pool you can buy disaster flaw whatever with ju with gems that you get for free with boss you can just go for the legendary one for when you do these like if you do the guild you get you get a shit ton you get these right here for donating the gems so then you can go buy these for 900 instead of 90 Technically speaking, better deal is to go for the basic, but in terms of longevity, it's better to go ahead and do the nine the nine hundred fucking shadow fucking ones here. Which that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Or at, after two o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be going ahead, I'm gonna just go buy one of these runes of disaster when everything resets. I'm gonna buy one of these and I'm gonna pay the $14.99 to go buy the other two runes and I'm gonna level three fucking uh bringers runes. Because that's the way I feel. And then right there, because of the runes and because of the cards, you can I'm starting to see where I think it was. I actually think it was a community manager that was talk that we talked to Dante. That was legitimately saying, look, you can play this at S rank. You don't have to EX or anything either. Because I think he's correct. I think you can build the S characters. Like if you just pull one Devil Bringer and just one Hell Weapon. That is the way I feel, LOL. The runes and the cards can carry the character. Like it would be able to carry the character through DMD. Personally, I'm starting to see because like we I'm doing on purpose not like you don't see me going pull for another Nero right now And my Nero is starting to do damage I Think that I'll be I think that his damage output is gonna be a lot better because It's kind of ridiculous to read that Right now we got a hundred and sixty percent on our alt. Our next ultimate is going uh, for Devil Bringer. Devil's Trigger is going to be two forty. And that goes all the way up to four hundred percent. And when I did the first rune and I went to the second, I saw a major increase in damage. 240? I want to see what that increase is going to be like. Because if it's... If, that, if that's the case, and we do another double... Is Devil Nero's Bringer good at DMD raid? I lost FOS Dante to For City Grace just now really needed him for Koto Nero and Spark Lady. Mm. Nero is good if you have the right team composition in boss raid. He's not good by himself. In DMD raid. Like you might want people might disagree with me on that one, but Nero in general is only good if he's got the right team backing him or if he's ex if he's ex then at that point in time it, it, you don't need a fucking team i don't think any character needs a team really if they're ex and you so got the virgil right cards is still and a shit. better dps virgil will always be a better dps i made a video about this nero can do virgil damage but Nero is it requires Dante and Virgil clears. But it requires you to have the proper team. You need to have at least Fist of Salvation Dante to make it work. Because Fist of Salvation Dante 
can give you 50 fucking brand stacks. And those brand stacks adds as explosive damage and makes it to where Nero's damage when he goes into his alt is much, much higher. Nero basically starts really fucking hurting when you got brand stacks. Nero could do brand stacks. Only 10. He's limited to only push producing 10. He can't do 50. So he can go ahead and do brand stacks 10, go into alt, and he gets one explosive. Whereas with Fist of Salvation Dante, FOS is so fun. He gets five. Like, I understand why Spark Igniter is also in here. Because before Devil Bringer even came out, right? Before Devil Bringer even showed up, this character was completely fucking useless. In any sort. Like, even with Nero and Fizz of Salvation, like the original Nero, these two together. True, with I'm Fizz my ult, I to get both Devil Bringer and FOS Dante, and they be slapping demons around. They were. She was useless. Like, he's useless, she's useless. Fizz of Salvation was your damage dealer. That's it. It was, I, I, in all honesty, it was better to run fucking. Fist of Salvation with any other fucking with any other composition you want to make. But now that Devil Bringer's in here, Devil Bringer, Fist of Salvation, and Ignite actually synchronize. Actually synchronize super fucking well. Like the entire idea of Virgil, it's like I'm gonna tell you. Virgil is the only character that's in this game that is designed to do everything by himself. He does not need a team. You could just bring does in anyone one know hunter. How to beat mission nine in the secret archive. I'm having trouble. I don't think I even got that far. I would have to take a look. I, I said I was going to do a secret archive stream one day. I just haven't done it yet. Show wasn't too interesting. But you see, when it comes down to Virgil, okay? Virgil is complete crit damage. That's the reason why he's not, there's no need to have a team with him. His entire kit is built around crit damage. The only reason why you want to build a team around him like Dante and even like Royal Guard or fucking Swift Arsenal or even Devil Crusher. You don't you don't even need to worry about fucking shields with fucking Virgil. In all honesty, you don't even need to worry about shields with fucking Virgil. Virgil does enough fucking damage output. The Brit Shield. They give him an extra 30% crit rate. So when you're at 70 fucking crit right and you got 140 crit damage the fucking character just pops to where every like third hit is a crit the character just fucking pops there's no need and even if you took and if you take away the other two he still's got over a fucking 60 percent crit Devil rate crusher is the best character for break shields you can still put him at a 60 percent crit rate without the need of these two the only thing, the reason why you want the 30% is because then, oh, excuse me, I'm wrong. Because the only reason why you want the 30% extra crit rate with two other physical hunters is that it guarantees a hundred. I don't know why the fuck my dogs just barked like that. Because it guarantees you a hundred percent crit rate. Like that's in case. When it comes to this team, yeah, you need to have the fire team needs to be together. Well, it don't need to be all together. You don't need 
spark igniter. You really don't. It just helps. It helps set up something. You want to put Nero in the back line. Especially when you get Nero at S+, plus, you want him on the back line. You don't want him in the front. The only reason why you would want him in the front if he's S. That's it. But if he is S+, plus, you want him in your back line. You want Fist of Salvation first. You want Spark Igniter second. You want Nero last. That's just how it is. And the reason why... Let's reset. The reason why... You bring up your... Oh, we got no sound effect, but you'll see. You bring up your uh, brand stacks to at least 30. We're at 35 right there. You switch to Spark Igniter. You do Bullet Storm. You do your damage. And then you pop out your, your Nero. That's basically what it is. And then you rinse and repeat. Spark Igniter should be the shortest character in here. That's why, like, you see, in all honesty, the, like, when people say put the Nevin cards on her, the Nevin cards will not work with her right now for me because we don't have the ability to build up her Devil Trigger long enough to actually make her useful. Because her fire pin is going to, it, you so want DB that fire Nero, penetration. Is he supposed to be DMG shield or hit shield? Cause I have no clue. Let's go see. I'll show you something in case you don't know. If you don't know this, you see, I got this. Click right here. So we can figure out that he's great at first damage. Best. Fire damage, skill save. So, in all honesty, he would be for hit shield. You think Nero first is best? Let me restart my emulator. All right. First salvation break shield with QTD. and massive damage. But you're saying that the first Nero, the, f the basic unit Nero, what the fuck going on with the screen? Emulator's all fucking, get all fucking doodly. You're saying that basically, that you're saying that the first Nero, not Devil Breaker, but the, the first one that came in the game, the basic unit is better. It's all acting all fucking weird right now. What the fuck? Is bro still helping? What the fuck? Uh, hold on. Let's actually exit and reopen because that's not supposed to fucking happen. Yo, what's up, man? Oh, not much. About to go to bed. I'm just having a conversation now about this. I want to hear what makes the first Nero, because someone say that they say that the first Nero is better unit. So I'm trying to figure out. New Watt has a good sleep schedule. Well, the problem is, is I got work in the morning. It's not like I'm working from home tomorrow. Thursday, I work from home. Dang, really? Like, they're saying we play that this... POC till we go to the mental institution speaking head. They're saying that this Nero's better. I got EX. Like... Gain 20 MP after hitting targets with combo A while in mid air. Your style is showing S. me or Virgil's fourth card. 
My fourth card? Bro, can you show me Nero build please cards? No explanation needed. I on think so. My fourth card is physical damage right now. I probably could do something better. I haven't actually looked. I'm sure there's probably a better card. But I'm doing the physical damage because he's a physical damage character. So I want that 23. I'm doing overall basically for right now. And I'm doing an extra physical for 6% with a crit rate of 3.2. I was just curious. That's all. Currently, my build seem optimal. Currently, my my cards are not all that great for him. The first one is actually kind of decent because Broken we got LOL. attack, attack, and attack. This is prob the best you can do. And like, devil bringer. There, the thing that we are trying to do right now is we're trying to get like we changed out to MP cards. I found this card right here, or what? No, I found this one right here. Or the LP region to get three Mostly eight point fours. So we got all of this at eight point four, which is making it to where Nero. Let me show you the reason why. The reason why I want LP region right now on Nero with the damage. It's very simple. I saw this. I was super fucking excited. I saw this shit. I was super fucking excited. Because originally, Hero Devil Bringer need MP regular. Right, he does, probably doesn't actually, but every well, everything is based around his alt. His damage is on his alt. So one Devil Arm like this. Look at my fucking MP gauge. Francisco Elias, thanks for following. Look what happened. One, this is the reason with the MP, like, like the fucking region, fucking just, this didn't happen until I put those fucking three cards on. When I found the other card, and I saw this, I'm like, oh fuck yeah, we're gonna leave this, we're, we're leaving this like this is right now. Because I want that MP region. Wow. So basically, a straight combo for him is to go into Devil Bringer Arm and then exceed. Seven bars is Where you can't get knocked out of. Yo, double and then, is that rolling on the floor laughing? And then there you go. Now you're in your alt. And every time you kill an enemy, when you're in your alt, it also does fucking mass regen on the fucking tri devil uh, trigger. So the faster you kill your enemies, the more you just stay in devil trigger the entire fucking time. Well, I got super excited for this shit. I need new cards, ha ha ha. Because like I said, he's based on that. And not only that, look how fast now when he's in the basic lineup. Look right here. Look how fast it's growing. Look at that little blue bar next to his head. By the time I'm basically almost done with a combo, he's already fucking the devil trigger. Do you know the range for the devil arm? It's actually pretty far. It's about. Yep, yeah, right there. So let's count that. A good judge. Uh, this is where you could do a good judge. So basically, almost everything's got a fucking tile floor in a sense. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's too far. 12, 11, 11, I think ele probably 11 blocks. So There's 11 tiles. 11 tiles. That, that's actually a fucking good range. Damn, not bad. Slam duck. It's actually not a bad range. But with the MP region, that like, I'm sacrificing a little bit of damage. I think I think we calculated that where I was sacrificing only like 500. I don't think it increases the more copies you get. Thanks for subscribing Francisco Elias hugging face. Yeah, we, that's what it is. We, we are actually sacrificing 500 damage because <clears throat> there's another card that I got. And I think it's the second card. Blood is so late. And I think I gave that card off. It was this one. Yeah. 690. So we get rid of the MP regen. Hi, ATK. Let me double check this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm actually wrong. Maybe we can still pull the same MP regen. Maybe we can. Hold on. Can you show details? Slam dunk. No, that's only three bar. I I'm, I'm down to three bars. So the other one gets me right basically at 80%. So that Pleasant XC combo will not guarantee me to get into Devil Trigger. It's kind of shitty. But losing 500 it's damage. The same, I think. No, it's three bars. So if I change this back, actually, no way. It might be actually. Was it a second card? No, it was a second card. It was a third card. It yeah, was seven card. bars before. Go back up. You sure? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a placebo effect. They're making me think that it's Show good. stats, please. Ah, get what type of cards do you use for Spark Igniter? That was smaller. That was actually smaller. What the fuck did I fuck up? Yeah, I think, man. Just wait for a minute. Ah, go down. What the fuck did I just fuck up? What the fuck did I just fuck up? I fucked something up. I fucked something it's up. It's lower now, Skull. 8.4, 8.4, 8 8.4. 8 These are the right cards. What the fuck did I just fuck up? Yeah, I think MP Regan is bugged. Will you and your friend help on DMD anytime soon? We do is now concerned, haha. What the fuck did I just fuck up? I just put the fucking one card back in. How the fuck did I just fuck it over? Are the cards? No. Are the cards bugged? Like, let's just say I replace this card real quick, you right? You started with FOS. Hunter stat. Yeah, right. The first time you did this. You're right. Oh, it's oh. Oh, I didn't think about that. You right. So you telling me That is a perk? No. I am a genius, hee hee. Get lost. Yo, okay, okay, hold the fuck on here. Ha! Go down! 
See how there is already a bar. I am big brain gimme one million dollars. It don't matter who it is. Oh shit, I never realized that. LOLWTF. I never, it doesn't matter who it is. I, I never fucking realized that. Oh shit, so wait a minute. Bruh. Let's have a Virgil real quick. Does it do the same fucking shit with Virgil? Well, we want to go into Judgment Cut. Judgment Cut is. No. What is... Now take off all MP Regan cards and see if there is a difference. AC, AC, like they're not building up any devil trigger. Let's go do that actually. Yeah, let's go do that. Now... Because if that's the case. It don't fucking matter. What I think cards there I... is a certain percentage. The blue bar goes when standby. And if that's the case, it doesn't fucking matter what fucking cards I fucking have, right? It don't fucking matter. So let's make us even better. No cards. None. I can always put them back on later. No cards. I didn't want to go to vault. That's my stupidity. Event. I'm gonna make this the last thing that I gotta go after this. But I want this this now. Slightly lower. I'm hacking your PC as we speak smiling face with horns. I'm going to lower the blue bar now. I think crypto is right. MP Regan may only affect lineup characters when they are standby. Let's see. Well, that just fu okay. Now that just proves that the fucking Nevin cards are worthless on fucking goddamn fucking uh lady. Here's a little something. WTF for you. low difference. I'm a genius, cold face. Well, you see, you just now fucking proved to me the Nevin card argument on fucking uh Spark Igniter is fucking useless then. Because if MP region, it's only for if they're in standby. Guess what? Oh, put MP region on uh, Spark Igniter. And that way she's useful with the cards. She can't be there is n she cannot build fucking meter. I gave you great info. Give me your account now. Smiling face with sunglasses. Me regular oh, is just... trash, bro. We had a whole entire argument. Me and some guy in this live stream had a whole entire argument about the Nevin cards because the cards that I'm going to be running on Ignite and I don't and I don't have them just yet. Is straight up. I'm going to do like, oh, go to the Stop strategy. Go, go read this, and I'm like, that is great. 
That is amazing. The problem here is that for the Nevin cards, if you go read the fucking Nevin cards, you have to be at a certain threat. You have to be able to unleash your alt in order to get that 70% damage increase. And she's not designed to be in that middle of that fucking battle for more than a couple of seconds. She's Damn. only an in-between. Haha, I proved her argument unintentionally, haha. So now let's see. With the MP region on fucking Nero, that devil trigger should now be 10 times faster. Yeah, it's only for the lineup. Because she cannot build. She has no talent. Nothing in her kit that allows her to build MP. I'm too big brain. Why so mean? She has nothing in her kit to do MP, so it's a complete waste. Yeah, they need an in-game index for all this stuff. Well, the thing is, is that this is the Don't fucking thing I like about this shit. This is the fucking thing that I like at this shit about this shit. I still want MP regen on, on Nero. I still fucking want it. Get a timer on screen and do it with both standby with cards and no cards. We that just looked at it. it. We just looked at it. It, it was going to take uh, like almost fucking almost a minute. For Nero on standby to get his MP region up on standby, and then when I put those cards on, it's it's almost was almost full. By the time I would get thirty stacks, throw in her, he would be already ready for his ult. I still want MP region on characters that need it, such as dante with his devil trigger i think even fucking nomadic lightning has a uh, a built-in because what you're doing lol oh uh, no i gotta go I i'm gonna have I i'm trying to leave here I i'm getting excited but i got to leave then why my virgil ult much faster than before on raids mm. you're right No, Stig's right. Bro has a bedtime skull. Because we put the MP... R n n fuck! Th th this is so fucking complicated. Have this a good is, one. This one, this one is fucking with me in my head now. Now my head's good, fuck. Because we put the MP regen on <laughs> Virgil. And there is a drastic difference now because now we're getting alts so much fucking quicker now. We got 25.2 and 8. Well, that might be the fucking case, too. Placebo because with Nero, effect. because with Nero, with Nero, we only got an 8 point, what? 8.6? Not really that high. 8.4. They're all 8.4s. If they would be like Virgil. We would probably see a drastic increase. A 25.2, an 18, and a 19. Maybe a percentage difference. But you lose damage with it. I'm not worried about losing... I'm not worried about losing damage. You are getting almost 60% with Virgil. I'm not... I'm not even worried about the fucking damage. Like... At all. I mean, with, with, with Virgil, I'm not worried about it. Virgil's at 5,167. For me, in particular, the Tusk is doing the fucking goddamn bullshit for me. He gets an increased overall damage by 20%. His fucking kit at this fucking level. It's all about fucking damage. He gets an extra 23% for activating No Shadow. 30. He gets an extra 25% for 15 seconds when just entering the battle. With prob and crit damage, you gain more damage. 
So, and with the crit damage that I'm putting on to Virgil, like the crit rate and the crit damage. Put your Virgil get, cards on Nero and test. It, it's just there. I will do that. What we'll do is we'll do a live stream tomorrow. And if it's all right with y'all, I'll do that tomorrow. That we'll do valid. a fucking, we will do a complete after the reset and everything and try to pull some new cards. We will do a complete fucking uh, myth bustering. How does that sound? Tomorrow's live stream, a complete myth what buster time? live stream. Uh, I get off of work at 3.30. I won't be home, which is my, right now is 12.22 for me right now. So I won't be back. I will, I'll be streaming you tomorrow now, night JK. till late. We'll stream tomorrow Sounds night good. till late. Because I work from home Thursday. So I could stream to like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on, on tomorrow. But we can do a Mythbuster stream. We could test the cards. We could test it without the runes. We could test the damage output. Because it, this is needed. This is technically fucking needed. In order to understand, because there is no information from the devs about this. YouTube not I'm trying to get the shit. TF. Make me mod PLS smiling face with sunglasses. Be here. Keep being here longer. You. We might consider making you a mod, <clears throat> but for right now, yes, I'm that going shows to sleep. awesome. And we will convene into a myth bustering tomorrow on all this shit and see how it goes. All right, I gotta get some sleep. You guys have a good night. Thank you for keeping me up for an extra fucking thirty goddamn minutes have when I wanted night, to leave Bobby. earlier because of this fucking I yep bullshit. So much. Night. So good night. Good night, brother.